Imagine if One Piece characters were Pokémon. Let's think about which types of Pokémon they might be. I have break it down into three parts, starting with the old generation. If Whitebeard were a Pokémon, he'd be a ground and rock type. Ground types to reflect his strength and earthquake abilities, while the rock type could reflect his ability to create seismic shockwaves and the destructive power associated with earthquakes. For Gal D. Roger it would be a dragon type. Dragon-type Pokémon are often associated with legendary and powerful beings. In the Pokémon world, dragons are considered majestic and formidable, which aligns with the legendary status of Gal D. Roger. If Monkey D. Garp were a Pokémon, he'd be a fighting-type. Fighting-type Pokémon are known for their power in hand-to-hand -hand combat and physical strength, which aligns well with Garp's character. If Sengoku was a Pokémon, then he would be a normal-type and fighting-type. Normal-type Pokémon are often associated with versatility, and adaptability. Sengoku, as a leader, has demonstrated a balanced and strategic approach to handling situations. Normal types are also known for having a wide range of moves, which could symbolize Sengoku's tactical flexibility. And the fighting type could be considered due to his combat skills and martial art. If Rayleigh were a Pokémon, he'd likely be a fighting type. Fighting type Pokémon are associated with martial arts, strength, and close quarters combat. Rayleigh is a master of hacky and possesses formidable combat skills, making fighting type a suitable choice to represent his abilities in the Pokémon universe. 